Funnily enough, her boobs in game are actually bigger than in the artwork. <laughs> Please. We are gonna check out all the things that have been posted recently in the blogs. Shanshin, stop it! For Watering Waves, um, they're showing a lot of previews for what's gonna happen in 1.1. So let's have a quick look uh, at it, essentially. So let me zoom a little bit here. There it is. So, Thor of Eons coming June. Okay, let's have a look, Ziz. So, we've got a new mount. New map, Mount Firmament, it looks beautiful. I really love the, the red, the red hue of like the rock, even the trees uh, with the ice, with the, the, yeah, the ice and the snow is absolutely uh, beautiful to look at. I don't know how big the map is going to be. I really wonder. There seems to be a lot of um, verticality. Uh, Soulborn Renewal. Jinsi is so pretty. Holy crap, Arino. Look at her. She's so pretty. I need her. She's absolutely beautiful. She has a, a very cute mole. I have a similar mole on my cheek, actually. And um, yeah, she's probably going to be the first Broadblade user I'm going to be using. I'm going to be uh, pulling for. She's a Spectro, 5-star, uh, DPS, as far as I know. And she's very cute, so I'm going for her. And then they're hitting us with the double jab because we do get... Vermilion's ploy, which is Shangli, and actually related. Shangli is her teacher, and uh, funnily enough, her boobs in game are actually bigger than in the artwork. <laughs> uh, which is crazy. <laughs> and um, also, like her resonance scar or mark here being literally under her booba is outrageous. I'm just saying. Sword user, fusion, five star. She's really pretty. She's really cool. I, I, I need both of them. So I'm going to be getting them. We'll get to see the weapon. So that's the five star weapon for Jinshi. Ages of Harvest. It looks pretty good. The drip is great. Unfortunately, I am not that rich. So I'm probably not going to get that weapon. And kind of same thing here for Blazing Brilliance. It's a beautiful sword. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just use the, the five star standard weapon. It's going to be what it's going to be. Main quest, chapter 1, act 7. That's really cool. The deity that commands time, the deity that brings blessings, now is the time to face them. So obviously we're going to be fighting Jue here. I don't know why they were mentioning how they seem to be... Like the, the I think Scar told us that Jue like sided with them for some reason. So I really wonder what that's going to be about. Uh, looking forward to that. Champion quest, companion quest, sorry, immortal blade. So we're going to get a companion quest the same as we got with uh, Ling Yang as well as um, Yin Lin with uh, Chang Li. You meet an old storyteller when you roam about in Hongzhen. While you listen to the immortality tales about Mount Firmament, you notice another interested listener. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Uh, I can't wait to, to learn more about Chang Li. She's uh, very pretty. I like her. Now we get New Echoes, Sentinel Jue, which is going to be a Spectro Echo, a forecast, since it's going to be a boss. I assume that's going to be, by default, the best in slot for um, Jinshi. As for the others, uh, Lumiscale Construct, Clang Bang, Dwarf, Cassowary, uh, Lav Larva, Lava Larva, Glacial Drain Main, and Light Crusher. So if I had to give my opinion here, uh, I feel like this is going to be a one cost, one cost, one cost, one cost for the Lava Larva, um, and then Glacial Dread Main and Light Crusher probably going to have three cost variants. I feel like maybe the Lava Larva, I don't know, do you think some of them could have three cost variants? I would say maybe those three here might have some three cost variants. Um, I mean, those two, definitely. Um, I feel like this one, Glacial Dread Main, is probably going to have, um, well, Glacial, maybe Spectral. Although we have this one with Spectral, so it could be like maybe Glacial or uh, Moonlit, stuff like that. They tend to have multiple uh, sets they can be part of. Um, so yeah, that would be my idea. And then we get to see new events, which only shows like Artvids. 
Tales from the Mount Fairmont Regional Exploration Events. So this will be the exploration quest that will get you into the, the place. Uh, photo collecting events. I assume they're going to tell you like small hints and you have to go and find the place where you got to take the picture. Uh, Dream of Blaze in Darkness. So a update to the update to the Elusive Realm, which is really nice. Elusive Realm, it's a great game mode in my opinion. So this is nice to have um, new content in there. Tactical Simulor Cry, limited time battle challenge. That's nice to have some challenge that will um, put your skill to the test, hopefully. And then we get a Lolo campaign, limited time commissioned events that seems to have a roulette. So I assume that like every time you do one of the commission, you can get a reward here. And then over time, you can get all of them if you do everything. So there you go. Not much else here. Just a quick overview with some images that shows what we can expect. Now we've got the Rover's Note. Mount Firmament, a secluded realm situated on the southeastern ocean of Jinjo territory. Legend has it that Sentinel Jue once descended on this ancestral homeland of Jinjo inhabitants. So they said southeastern. So that would mean it would be here then? Around here? Or maybe around there? They say it's southeastern of this entire place. So either it's just some season of the city of Jinjo, or just down there. So around this area, I suppose. Looking forward to 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 that definitely. Uh, oop, sorry. <laughs> right, back here. Uh, what do we have here? Scar once claimed that the fact cities had imprisoned Sentinel Jue, a claim woven between fact and fantasy that remains unclear to this day. The only certainty is that Sentinel Jue will finally manifest itself on Mount Firmament, situated on the southeastern ocean of Jinjo. Rumors suggest that the Mount Firmament operates under abnormal temporal mechanics, where time flows significantly slower than out the outside world. Several months spent on the mountains equal hundreds of years passing elsewhere. What? Ooh, we shouldn't stay there too long. What's very interesting here is that with the idea that Jue can master time, we might get some answer regarding our past. Uh, Mount Firmament. To confirm the sa safety of Sentinel Jue, Jinjo Magistrate has set off to Mount Firmament to find its whereabouts. However, her contact with the city hall seems to have been suspended for several days. In her last message, San Hua noticed that she appeared unusually weak. Uh, yeah, obviously that's very... that's not good. Probably from where we saw in the trailer. Uh, so yeah, uh, navigating through the waters in treacherous, is treacherous due to the thick fog. To safely reach the shores of Mount Firmament, you'll need to wait for precise, precise timing and expertise of a wayfinder. It's Counselor Shengli, the wayfinder you need for this journey. Oh, so we're going to be traveling with her? That's awesome! Lovely. Ooh, exciting. So we're going to go with her to find her disciple. Uh, lovely. A court of Savante mechanism. With the unique design of Mount Firmament, it's said to be able to restore altered items. The Chrono Sorter. Um, so I feel like you can use this to... It's probably one of the things, like, you use it to bring a certain item or a certain part of the environment back to its previous state. So here, like, it looks like there's a broken bridge. So by using this, you can probably restore the bridge. Some stuff like that. We had that in Genshin as well in other games. Hongzhen. Ooh, look at this place. It's so pretty. There's a lot of, like, natural bridges of, like, the rock fan fo formation and stuff. It's really cool looking. These looks like... I think those are probably onsen. Well, not onsen, but you know what I mean. Like, um... Um... Hot... Bath? What is, what is that called? You know what I mean. It's like... It's hot water in here. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sorry. Oh, that's loud. Go away. Uh, the True Seekers Pass. Ooh, that looks pretty. Mianlong's Chamber. There looks to be a lot of underground places and caverns. Okay. Jue, a majestic deity with unquestionable power, omniscient of Jinjo's past, present, and future. Jue, the wielder of time's flow, sees eons as mere moments. In an instant, Jue can change the universe forever. Holy crap. Okay. Jinchi is the appointed resonator of Sentinel Jue, sharing a familial bond with the Sentinel. When Jinchi bears the scales of a lung on her body, it means dot dot dot. What is this little thing here? Ah, oh, we finally got to get some answers regarding uh, this pet. That's good. Uh, we, like, li they literally brushed it off in the main story, so uh, we need to know about that. 
also, yeah, we saw in the trailer where she has a scale and she was a baby, she was saved by Jue. Uh, I feel like he probably used his power or her power to save her. And that's probably why she's like half dragon or something. So very interesting. Uh, new map preview. Uh, it's opening soon. What do we have in here? Man, it looks so pretty. Area events. Uh, area exploration events. It's a remote island with a connection server to the secular world. Legendized Sentinel Jue first descended there. Okay. Uh, you need to be level 14 and visit Mount Fermanent in main quest. Uh, it's divided into four stages. This event will have separate stages unlocked according to the progress of the main quests. By completing exploration and puzzle solving, battle challenges, gathering, and other quests available in Mount Fermanent area, you will be awarded diverse rewards. Ooh, lovely. The traces of Mount Firmament photo collection events. According to Uncle Fu, he claims who sorry he claims to possess a treasure resembling a scale capable of performing chrono tracing, the ability to replicate past events across time and space. Oh. Okay. Follow the clues to explore the corresponding area. Take the correct photos or search at the target locations. Completing the above quest will grant reward. Lovely. Area quest. More quests are awaiting you to explore in the Mount Firmament. Complete them to earn rich reward. Stranded in the wilderness, a determined young woman strives to perform a sacred rite for the sentinel's well-being. Help her fulfill the rite of offering and uphold this ancient tradition. Step 1. Connect the light path through the Altar of Radiance and deliver the long spiral to the Altar of Worship. Step 2. Stand in the position in the light and change the viewing angle to align long spirals on the right platform with the mouth of the dragon-shaped peak of Mount Fermont in the distance. Okay, sounds pretty fun. Side quest, Denzen Chelonian. On an island in the middle of a lake near Hongzhen, a Hotoi seems to be having a conflict. The Tasset Discord also fight among themselves. Uh, are they going to be doing a, a dense battle with the turtle? Uh, by completing the side quest, you can receive the Broadblade Beguiling Melody after completion of the above quest. It's a three star weapon. That's too bad. I wish I was a four star weapon because it's probably not going to be very useful, unfortunately. It's said to be a ceremonial utensil made from long scales shed by Jue, more like a musical instrument than a weapon. Ah, uh, I really want to know what kind of effect it's gonna have and if it's actually gonna be useful in some way. I mean, there's three stars at the moment that are useful, like the, the gauntlet that can allow you to proc the regenerative glow set, so that's pretty nice. New scene, Hongzhen, so that's the village, the tourist secrets pass, Mianlong chamber, and the Long's crest. Looks good. New mechanics. Ah, the chrono sorter. Use a chrono sorter to alter the flow of time in a small area, changing the state of certain items within this space. There it is, fixing the bridge. That's the picture we saw earlier. Looks good. The Photon Vault and Photon Barrier. Photon Vaults usually appear in sets and emit golden energy paths connected to the Photon Barrier. Both ranged attacks and basic attack can deactivate Photon Vaults. Disabling all Photon Vaults in a set will deactivate the Photon Barrier. Okay. Allow you to cross obstacles. Lovely. And then we've got the Leap Device. Stand on the Leap Device for a moment to launch yourself in the target direction. That's great. Just gives us more uh, practical um, just Traversal options, I guess. That's cool. Challenge! One Echo Challenge. Clang Bang. Transform into Clang Bang to break the ice barrier or fill in the missing ice cube. That's kind of cute, especially the missing ice cube. It kind of feels like the uh, Breath of the Wild puzzle, except you have to do it with your own body when you transform into the Clang Bang, which is very cute. <laughs> uh, the Tactical Hologram Ski. Uh, that looks more like snowboarding. Pass through the acceleration rings and point rings and reach the finish line within a limited time. Sounds good. Yeah, a cute little uh, challenge to do. Windchimer. Windchimers can convert sound into an energy flow that enhances instruments and improves their tones. To repair a damaged zither, Zhang Zhe in Hongzhen is sinking windchimers. Okay. Windchimers are scattered across Mount Firmament and can be collected using basic attack or range attack. I assume this is going to be the new uh, casket thing, but for the Mount Firmament, I guess. Uh, that's what I would I would assume. So looking forward to that. Awesome. What else do we have? Geographic lands and waters. Mount Firmament, a secluded island situated in the southeastern ocean of Jinjo territory. Cloaked in mist, it obscures its connection to the secular world. World, sorry. Mount Firmament serves as the ancestral homeland of Jinjo inhabitants. Legend has, uh, has it, sorry, that Sentinel uh, Jue descended here to guide them. Navigating its waters is treacherous due to the thick fog. To safely reach its shores, you'll need to wait for precise timing and the expertise of a wayfinder. Okay. Man, look at this. It looks real pretty! 
The post remained the Anthropocene lands and waters. Man firmament, a sickly isle. We. They keep saying this. Oh my god, stop it. Okay. The luminous shore, a vast field of shore resting on the corner of Mount Firmament, it stands on the endless ridge of Mount Firmament, welcoming roving voyagers on the farther side of the Sea of Fog. I love the aesthetic, it's so pretty. It pops out a lot. On the end of luminous shore lies a nameless cave, through which you can reach the hidden realm of Mount Firmament. Ooh, hidden realm. Long's Ridge, south of the Mount Firmament, aligns towering mountains, weaving and winding and tortuous course akin to a Long's body. Hence its name. Uh, though perilous peaks protrude along Long's Reach, it harbors a diverse variety of tundra inhabitants. The people of Manfermen named many areas after Jue to commemorate the miracle brought forth by it. Long's Crest, originally called the Empyrean Cleave, the pinnacle of Long's Crest perches atop Manfermen. To celebrate the blessing of Jue, resident of Manfermen carved its central pike into Jue's statutes, after which Empyrean Cleave was named Long's Crest. The Temporal Loop! Sonoro sphere generated by Sentinel Jue, within this chaotic loop, the origin and absolute of all things are deeply embedded in the disorder of day and night and the cycling seasons. Wow, okay. Lungs rest, the dormant ground for Sentinel Jue, in relentless winds and year round snow, scarce traces of humanity can be found here. Rumor has it that formidable obstacles are set to hinder steps from room there to trespass its domain. Trespass its domain, okay. Feels good. I don't know why I can't speak to them, sorry. Mianlong Chamber, the very vessel that carries Sentinel until it falls. It's fall on the Mount Firmament, now hiding inside the depth of Long's Rest. Some suspected this was a hibernation pod for Jue's interstellar trek from a faraway galaxy. He has a spaceship? Okay. <laughs> uh, the plot thickens. Zhuan Chi reaches, when Jue first appeared in Mount Firmament, it left giant and strange rings interspersed among lofty cliffs. No one can perceive their meaning except Jue. Wow, okay. The truth seekers pass in the, is the court of Samantai ruins in Mount Firmament. Years ago, they researched journey the great distance to Mount Firmament in seek of a myth. Today, facilities and precious study material remains, yet the creators are nowhere to be found. Okay. Okay, okay. What the hell is going on? Hongzhen, a self-sufficient town isolated from the outside world. Building of slickness and elegance are scattered in the streets, with red leaves and white snow adding to its silent beauty. Wazerium Geographic. Man, it's so pretty. A s -s 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 -uh. Gate of Mount Firmament. Hongzhen has been isolated from the world for many years, with few outsiders visiting. The village operates an office where villagers take turns managing various town affairs. Oh, Jinyi. She looks so cute! Once an important figure in the city hall, later resigned to nurse her illness in Mount Firmament. Now she's in charge of general affairs in Mount Firmament. Ooh, I wonder if she's going to be playable as a four star, maybe? We need more four stars. Madame Xinyi and others offered help to me during my yield early years in the city hall. I've always entertained my gratitude for the kindness. Although they've already announced like the banners, and I don't think any new characters have been on those banners, so probably not a new four star. Water plums, a blossom of plum retreated by ancestral inhabitants of Mount Firmament, now preserved in a container under the gates. An overwhelming fragrance emerges from its crystal petals, heated in the steam of hot springs and spreading it to its surrounding. Ooh, beautiful. The Sagasi, oh, hot springs, that was the word. Sagasi Springs, Mount Firmament enjoys natural resources of hot springs. Surrounded by dancing snowflakes, the warmth provided by the hot spring is intensified even more. Sagasi Spring received its name from the cinnabar colored mountains nearby and fatigue relieving effect they offer. As a favorite site by the people of Hongzhen, they have been treated to a variety of entertainment during years of seclusion. The Sagasi Springs Therapy. To find a suitable site in Sagasi Springs with the desired temperature, bathing in the water will perk you up and cleanse your body of harmful elements. Don't forget to prepare a pot of cold tea and a basket of snacks to share with your friends. Warm reminders, do not grow addicted to its warmth. Excessive duration of bathing will result in loss of consciousness. In that case, remember to supply yourself with enough water. Springs are also enjoyed by the creatures of the wilderness. For the concerns of your safety, please refrain from visiting springs in isolated spots. Okay. The water shadow screen. Screens made from mountain rocks and used for water shadow play. People of Mount Firmament often enjoy their leisure times here. Brewing and sipping tea while watching a water shadow play. That's cool. 
So Water Shadow Play is a pastime invented by the ancestors of Hongzhen, a delightful form of entertainment they choose to fill their rather long lives. They will cut the red leaves that can be seen everywhere in the mountain into leaf shadows. As the water content runs through, you can enjoy vivid play just above the screen. Ooh. Brewing tea. The residents of Hongzhen prefer to burn the unique cedar wood of Mount Firmament to light a warm stove and bake local tea and fruit. Sitting around a stove with family and friends, enjoying a pot of hot roasted tea amidst the snow, it's the most pleasant time to spend. It sounds like it. Stream of snow shadows. From here, the waterfall runs from the cliff and joins the water system of Hongzhen. Tiny branches planted by ancestors since the establishment now have grown into trees, while rocks have rounded from the continuous erosion of the springs. With the existing sites as a basis, the people of Hongzhen added silver flowers and served in the stone and rising steam. Joining the cascading waterfall together to produce the fable wonder. Ooh. Legend about stream of snow shadows. Centuries ago, a traveler encountered the heavy snow during a journey. When the villagers expanded their stock of firewood in isolation, this traveler used their forte to carve paths through the mountains, guiding hot springs to flow into the village. The sudden release of mist and melting ice streamed westward along the river like a majestic fleet of sailor. It's a favorite place of my grandparents because it marked the beginning of Hongzhen. The Danhua Souvenirs, a small grocery store in the town displaying a superb collection of items on its front. Many left in intricate corners of time are searched and picked up by the owner. If you care to spare him some moments into the tales they carry, the owner would be delighted for a little chat. Looks cute! Tongchuan Pharmacy. This small pharmacy sells various medicinal herbs collected from the mountains and medicine developed from these herbs. Okay. The residents of Hongzhen are regular customers of this pharmacy. Although some of them may appear strange, they have potent effects to cure illness. Cool beans. And that's it. Okay, lots of good stuff here. I really like the look and the aesthetic of the new area. I love the red mountain. I love the trees. I love the snow. It looks very, very pretty. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. Obviously, new characters, new monsters, which mean new echoes, um, new weapon, apparently. I hope it's good. And uh, most importantly, a big old area to explore i'm really excited about it let me know what you guys think with the comments and uh, like subscribe all that good good i'll see you next time